Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create one to many relationship in Microsoft Access. Once again, I repeat the topic how to create one to many relationship in Microsoft Access. So, what is one to many relationship? Let us consider there are two tables table A and table B. Each row in table A can be related to many rows in the relating table B. This type of relationship is called as one to many relationship. Once again I repeat the definition. Let us consider there are two tables table A and table B. Each row in the table A can be related to many rows in the relating table B. This type of relationship is called as many to one to many relationship. Let us consider there are two tables table A and table B. Each row in table A is associated with multiple rows in table B. If it is a scenario, we can call the scenario as one to many relationship. So this is the most commonly used type of relationship. It's very common. So consider an e-commerce website with the following criteria. A customer can make many orders. It's a one to many relationship. Order can contain many items. It's a one to many relationship. Items can have descriptions in many languages. It is a one to many relationship. So now we are going to create two tables in order to explain one to many relationship. So we are going to create the first table with the following design and name it as TB customer. So field uh, name, data type, field size, format, keys. So first field name is going to be customer ID, data type is number and field size is long integer and key is primary key. And second one is customer name, and data type is short text and field size is 50. We are going to create one more table with the following design and name it as TB orders. The first field name is order ID, data type is number and format is long integer. And second field name is customer ID, data type is number and field size is long integer. So format is long integer. The next one is order date, data type is date and time, format is short date. And field name, amount, data type, currency and format is EU. So then we are going to create a similar kind of relationship. A customer can place more than one order. It's a one to many relationship. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Access 2013. How to open Microsoft Access 2013? So go to Start, go to All Programs, go to Microsoft Office and click on Access 2013 or 2010. Once again, I repeat the steps. Go to Start, go to All Programs, go to Microsoft Office and click on Access 2013. And select blank desktop database when you click on blank desktop database where a pop-up window will be open where you want to provide the database name let us say one to many and click create in order to create it when you click create the ID will be opened where you can able to see the default table table one so just right click the table and navigate to design view. So just right click the table and navigate to design view. When you click on design view, it will ask for the table name first time. Provide the table name. Let us say the TB customer. Click OK in order to design the table. So the field name is going to be cust ID. and the data type is going to be the number anyway the field size is long integer it is a primary key okay and next one is customer name it's going to be a short text and field size is going to be 50 so once you have done all the changes save it and our next task is we want to create one more table how to create one more table just 
navigate to create tab and where you can find table so how to create a new table just navigate to create tab and click on table when you click on table you can able to see the table one has been created just right click table one and navigate to design view when you navigate to design view it will ask for the table name provide the table name as tb orders and click ok now so check out this primary key just right click and remove the primary key and first field name is going to be order id it's going to be number and field size is long integer and second one is cust id it's going to be number and field size is long integer and next one is order date it's going to be date and time and format just select short date and next one is amount so choose currency and format is euro so once you have completed all the tasks save it and close the tables so now we have created two tables now we want to create a relationship how to create a relationship so just navigate to database tools where you can find the relationship how to create the relationship just navigate to database tool tab where you can find the relationship just click on relationships and select the two tables click add and close so now the two tables has been added to the relationship now how to create one to many relationship where you can able to see the customer id and customer id same field name you just click this customer id drag it and drop it to this customer id so where you can able to see the tb customer cut as customer id and tb order that is customer id so when you do this the edit relationship window will be opened so here you want to do a thing just click on enforce referential integrity and create so where you can able to see it's a one to many relationship has been created between the tables tb customer and tb orders now we want to generate the relationship reports how to generate the relationship report here you can able to see the relationship report just click relationship report in order to generate the report and save the report so now our task has been completed i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you